Today we're gonna to be going over things that you need to know regarding air conditioner contactors. So your outside condensing unit is being powered by this disconnect right here. So we'll go ahead and pull this one out and set it on top. So since we have the power turned off to this unit, you would think that the contactor would also have no power, but that's actually not the case. The contactor gets its power from the transformer in the furnace in the house. So I'm gonna demonstrate now what that contactor does. Over here you can see we have our thermostat wires which go onto the contactor itself. So we're going to go and turn on the thermostat and it's going to send 24 volts out here which is then going to pull in this contactor. So we're just going to switch this into cooling mode, turn it down. And if this thing is making a really loud rattling noise, like that, oftentimes that means that the contactor is not fully seated. If you do not hear a humming noise, then you probably want to check for voltage. And you can see we have 26 volts there, so we are just fine. Sometimes a little bug can get stuck underneath that plunger there. You can get that bug out of there once you've made sure that you have no power and your air conditioner should work again. But a lot of times that can cause the contacts to just burn a little bit. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and replace it. The vast majority of them are built a little bit more like this. The reason they started putting these covers on here is to protect these terminals from uh, bugs and things crawling in there. Also make sure that you get a contactor that has the correct amperage rating. So I'll show you one more contactor here. This is a three pole contactor which is typically used in three-phase applications. 